growing up, I didn't have that person in my life that helped me put together a financial playbook. It's important that you have someone by your side that you trust. I wish my mom would have had those conversations with me and to be in a place where I can have that conversation with our black and brown youth today, they're our future. And I wanna be able to be in a place where I can share that information with them. It's never too early to start putting together a financial plan. When I think about empowering someone, for me, it's all about the good, the bad, and everything in between. Shantae is like my little sister. I have received an opportunity to do, be an intern with the Houston Comets and their coaching staff, so that's how I ended up in Houston and been tied to Houston ever since. Cheryl was the one that I looked to to talk to about money. She would just tell me certain things without me even asking. Don't create unnecessary bills. Don't spend what you don't have. Put yourself on a budget. And if you don't know how to put yourself on a budget, don't be afraid to ask for help. When I'm dealing with young women, I use those moments that I had then to help me tell them something, not what I heard, but what I've experienced by having that connection with Cheryl. One of the most important things I learned after retirement is the importance of having multiple streams of income, especially in our black and brown community. I'm not sure we really discuss that or talk about that enough. Our personal connection comes when I was playing for the Comets, and I was just looking for that someone who is going to be that mom to my son when I'm not there. Out the gates, I was a part of the family. It didn't feel like I was just a nanny. I just tried to make sure I was there for her in whatever way she needed me. When I first started and, you know, the salaries we were making and, and everything, for me, it was great. When you come from nothing, and you get to a place where whatever you want, you can get, and then to lose everything. I was at a low, but every time I talked to her, I immediately felt like everything was gonna be okay. As black and brown women, we're so prideful that if we're struggling and if we're going through something, we don't talk about it. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to show your weaknesses. She was the first one to have her own shoe. So she set the table, you know, for everybody else to be able to come and eat. The uh, new NIL deals that are available, which is name, image, and likeness uh, for the college athletes, provides me an opportunity to speak with the young people in regards to preparing their financial playbook. She helped to lay the foundation for that. To be able to empower my black and brown community is definitely something I don't take lightly. It's important to be able to understand where you wanna go and where you wanna to get to in life and you have a plan to make that happen.